Hey, my lovely fourth and fifth graders. Okay. So we all know Miss Parker has moments where she could do better. Monday's video was one of those moments. I did not realize until after I already posted them that your audio was not playing. And I apologize. But as opposed to watching those videos all over again and cutting into your time, I'm going to do the quicker thing and kind of explain the point they were making through pictures. Now, basically, it was just explaining the plant parts in order to make sure you had the background information before we tried to talk about what matter actually matter to plants. So let me go ahead and turn this. Now, this little thing here, I'm not sure if you can see it, let me color it in. Represents a seed. So basically the videos were talking about the plant parts and what you need to know about plants because that second video was just showing that, you know, some plants that can't make their food go ahead and steal it from elsewhere. But that was a parasitic plant. But anywho. So we have our seed. This seed is going to grow roots. All these little hairs there. Nice little roots. You get the idea. So it's going to grow roots, right? Now, the job of these roots are to absorb water and hold the plant in place. Then that is also going to have a stem grow for it. Now that stem is responsible for transporting that water that the roots soak up and holding the plant upright. So upright because we're gonna add some more stuff to this plant and it needs to be sturdy. Now from the stem, you will see leaves start happening. Look at the lovely leaves. These things are important, people, okay? Because these things help make food for the plant. It helps make food. Now, if you recall from when we did energy, you know, energy comes from food and all that other good jazz, you know? We need our energy to, in order to keep growing big and strong, a plant needs its energy. If energy comes from its food, boom, these leaves are gonna help make food through sunlight. Let's keep this plant going because we haven't gotten to the top yet because at the top, that is where you will see a beautiful, lovely, wonderful, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. In case you didn't know, Miss Parker loves flowers if you, Caught my wardrobe. So, obviously, at the top, we will have this beautiful flower that will contain some seeds in the middle because, you know, we only need more seeds. So, essentially, those videos are trying to let you know what the plant parts are and its fun functions to make sure that you understand before they go into trying to convince you. Okay, trying to convince you that soil is technically not needed in order for a plant to grow. I know you may sit here and think, oh, lies. I won't believe it, but it's true, it's true. Now, in case you've heard me teach K through second about plant needs, you would have heard me say that soil is a plant need. And while, yes, plants do appreciate the nutrients that they get from soil, technically it's not needed. If you recall, once upon a time, I had baggies with plants in it tied, I mean, taped to my windows. And this was because I was showing students that, yeah, they could still grow without soil, but soil helps it grow better. And this is still true. Soil provides certain nutrients that help a plant grow, but technically is not needed to grow. Now, we would have did that same little experiment 
inside the classroom where I would have had you put a seed in a bag with a paper towel and some, you know what, matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. I want you to try it at home. Now, all you need is a bean, a paper towel, a Ziploc bag, and that lovely, lovely air you got on your lungs. So you would simply wet the paper towel, put the bean inside of it, and you would blow up the Ziploc bag with that bean inside the paper towel in it and close it. So all you really need is a little bit of water, bean, paper towel, and your air inside this bag. You gotta make sure you close your air inside the bag because part of the stuff that is needed for photosynthesis comes from us. It's that air that we breathe out because we need each other. Plants and animals need each other because you know, they let out oxygen, we let out carbon dioxide. It's a whole little, here you go, that's for you situation happening. So whether we were at rocket ship or learning about this right here, the main thing that you're going to get from this is that they want you to know that plants mainly get whatever they need from the sun, water, and air. Soil, while yes, is good for them, is not technically needed. That is the main purpose of what this goat would have been about. We wouldn't have spent too much time on it because that's the general idea. A way that you could check to see how much a plant grows and that you could prove, oh, they get most of what they need from water and air is to try the experiment with putting the bean inside of the bag because you can weigh this bag. Now, if the only thing you put into it is air and water, no soil, then you would see, oh, this plant is still going. And remember, we already said that matter cannot be created or destroyed. It can just transform into something else. So you will see that that water and that air that you put into that bag is going to transform to help that plant grow. That is basically the gist of what we were going to get from this. And some in tomorrow's video, we will do the quiz together as a whole. You don't have to do the paper and all that. I just want to make sure that we all understand how plants keep growing and how it gets its energy and how it produces matter and all that other good stuff. Once again, I'm so sorry for our last video. I promise I would do better. I would promise to check my video. I learned my lesson. Until tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.